Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. In the previous part of the Matplotlib series, we created the Matplotlib folder in Jupyter Notebook. Let's add a notebook now. So, with Jupyter Notebook launched, first let's select the Matplotlib YouTube folder and click on New and select Python 3. This will create a new notebook. To rename the notebook, click on Untitled. And now a pop-up window appears, so go ahead and type the new name. As I mentioned in the previous part of this series, I'm going to use a naming convention based on the number of the part of the series. So, in this example, it's matplotlib part 2. And now we can click here, rename, fine. So now we can see the title over here. And now we're ready to create our first basic graph. Don't worry if you don't understand something, because it will be explained in details in the following articles. Anyway, let's start by using the matplotlib inline magic command. This magic command is only used in the IPython environment, so in the IPython console and in Jupyter Notebook. It should be used only once per session, just like the import further down. If you use this command, all graphs will be embedded directly in the notebook rather than displayed in a separate window. And now we need some imports. So, matplotlib and matplotlib pyplot. Here you can also see the commonly used aliases for matplotlib MPL and for matplotlib pyplot PLT. We will also use numpy for this example. So let's import numpy2 with a common alias np. And now the example. First, let's create an array of 100 evenly spaced numbers between negative 10 and 10. We can use the numpy linspace method to do that. Have a look. Now, these are going to be the x coordinates. The method takes three parameters the lower and upper range and the number of items. Now, we're going to plot the following quadratic function. y equals x squared minus 2 times x plus 3. So this expression is saved in the y variable. And now comes the part that we need to actually plot this function. Now we have to generate the figure instance and an axis instance. The terms figure and axis are among the basic matplotlib terms. A figure is the canvas area where one or more axis instances can be added. An axis instance is a region of the figure with its own individual coordinate system. There may be one area instance, like in the example below, but there may be also more. We can use the plt subplot function to create a figure and an axis at the same time. And now let's finally plot the graph. Most functions we're going to use are axis methods. So, x plot x y. Now, to run this code, we have to hit control plus enter. So, let's do it, control enter. And what we get is a beautiful graph 
of the quadratic function. This is just a very basic graph and we should definitely add some elements to it. We'll learn how to do it in the following parts of this series. Ok, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.